Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how to install and configure Azure AD Connect or Antra Connect to sync your users from your on-premise domain controllers to Azure AD or Office 365. So the first thing you want to do is download the Azure AD Connect. You can Google it, or I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this link and basically download the app. Now, the next thing we want to set it up. Now, I do have a domain controller here. And um, as you can see, the domain is imazurelabs.com. I do have an OU that's called Synced Users. And I have these users in this security group that I want to sync. Now, uh, while we're configuring this, you can choose to uh, sync all OUs. But in this video, I'm going to sync only this OU, which syncs my users. And I'm going to show you how, it, how it's done. So we'll just basically run the Azure AD Connect and install it. All right, so we come to this first screen. We have to basically agree to the terms and condition and continue. Now you can use express settings, but here I'm gonna use customized so I can control what, what I need. And I'm basically gonna say install. I'm just gonna leave these all of these blank. And I'm gonna uh, pause the video and come back when it's uh, completely installed so we can configure it. In the meantime, make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right, so uh, installation is complete. Now, before I continue here, I get asked a lot, does this have to be installed on a domain controller? And the answer is no. Actually, Microsoft does not recommend installing this on a domain controller, but rather you uh, install it on a separate domain joined machine. However, it does work if you install it on a domain controller and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, because I'm doing this in a lab, but even in production, I wouldn't mind installing a domain controller. So here, user sign in, we're gonna use pass, password hash synchronization. And basically that what this, this does is synchronizes the passwords from on-premise to uh, Office 365. And this way users would have uh, one password for both their cloud uh, apps and for uh, on-premise apps. All right, we hit next. Now it wants us to connect to Azure. Of course, you uh, you would enter the credentials. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's verifying the credentials right now. Okay, so um, basically that's the forest, that's what I have. And I hit add directory. And usually what we do is create a new AD account and we need to provide our uh, administrator account, the, the uh, domain admin account for uh, Azure AD Connect to actually have the authorization to create a sync user. So I will pro uh, provide this. All right, it's configured. Now we we uh, hit next. And uh, basically we come in here, we usually use this with user principal name, which is the username at the domain.com. Uh, unless you have a real legit reason to change this, just leave it as the default. I also wanna mention that I have imazurelabs.com verified in my Azure tenant. Hit next. Now here I can actually say, do not sync all OUs. I do wanna just sync the synced users OU and that's where my users here are, this OU. And we just leave this at the default. Hit next. And basically I'm gonna tell it to uh, next. Now, there are a lot of options here, but if you're only syncing users, 
for the sake of Office 365 or Azure AD where you want your users to be there. You do not need any group write back or device write back or any of this. And we're not covering any of these uh, things in this video, but we're just gonna leave it at password hash. I'm gonna click next. And basically it's now configuring this uh, installation for us. And now it's asking us uh, if we wanna start the synchronization process. And I'm gonna say install and start. And it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. Okay, so it says configuration complete and it's already started syncing. So we're gonna exit from here and basically uh, go and open the AD Connect just to look at it. So if we go to File Explorer and see, it's under Program Files, Azure AD Sync, U Shell, and that's where the client is. I usually like to uh, put it on my uh, desktop. And let's start and see what's going on in it. And as you can see, it ran uh, full synchronization successfully. And now we should have those users in, in Azure. And let's take a look at them. Okay, so as you can see, here are my, my users. As you can see, I have Dina and Peter Mays. And here are Dina and Peter Mays. And um, it says on-premises synced enabled and it says yes for Dina and yes for Peter. And this guy is the admin I use basically and it's not uh, synced, but it's not there. So if I go and add a new user now, and I say, Ralph Mays, And now I want to sync this user. Now the schedule for AD Connect is every 30 minutes by default. However, you can force the, uh, the syncing if you want to make a change and sync it quickly. There's a command that I'm going to leave a link below also for it. And this command, basically you run it in a PowerShell. And what this does is forces the, the synchronization as you can see now. Once we run it, it's successful and it's gonna start now here in progress. So I'm gonna pause until this is done and show you the new user, which is Ralph. All right, so synchronization is done. I waited a few minutes until it appears here. So as you can see, Ralph now is here. Every time someone from on-premise changes their domain password, it'll sync with their user here. And pretty much that's the basic of, uh, of installing and configuring Azure AD Connect. Well, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.